hello guys welcome to today's video and on today's video guys we are going to be looking at um the latest news trending on both tech and also ai and it's still tech so let's go ahead and dive into that and i am going to make this very quick so now first we are looking at google um google might actually appear to release um, the google gemini ultra very soon and while uh, releasing this google gemini they are actually going to monetize it it's not going to be like brad that we are currently using for free this one is going to be more advanced and is actually called ultra and this is going to have a paid version now this is also going to actually um google will actually allow three months of uh of brad user to actually make use of it uh for free before going to uh make payment for the ultra now this is actually going to be more interesting than the ultra if you're already using uh google brad now um that is actually for the google news and then um the next is actually um the high quality image to video synthesis now there are different companies coming out and producing different images but this one is actually coming from alibaba now alibaba actually developed their own and this is also going to be open source unlike other um other ai uh, too and you can see the examples of the image to video this is the still image and this is the video sample and looking at this this looks very sharp compared to what you have been seeing so far so let's say you uh, you generated an image on dell e or let's say mid journey you can animate it making use of this tool and this is actually very easy and it's also open source which means you can use it for free right now they might monetize it later but right now you can use it for free uh, all you need to do is to go over to um, I think it has a G GitHub repository. If you click on this code section, it's going to take you to GitHub repository and you can download the um, AI uh, image uh, to video generator from, from Alibaba. Now, all you need to do is actually um, click on this area and then you download. This is going to be saved as a zip file, so you can uh, unzip it and start using it. Every information on how to install should be here, and you can check through and you can see what this AI can do. So, the next one is actually Intel. Now, Intel has been, let's say, a bit mute on the AI part, but now it has actually released that is actually making his big move into the AI and is going to be spawning out a new platform company is going to be a different company with the back ring of Boca rotation now um the florida based access investigator digital bridge um is actually going to be called um article 8 ai is actually an um an awkward abbreviation of article ai article ai the new entity building off of a proof of concept from an a intel collaboration with boston consulting company now this is going to be released earlier this um year 2024 and until then we'll be looking forward to what they are bringing in to the ai company or into the ai integration now the next is actually um a mind reading um or a mind ai a mind reading ai that can actually translate somebody's thought into a test now this has been tested out and it's not yet perfect but it's pretty accurate and the machine is able to actually read what our thoughts sound like and something straight out of the page of the science fiction novel now but this ai integration is called um dev with and let's see what it can do it can do a lot of things and this is also released by australian researchers and guys all of this news i am sharing i am going to leave a link so you can always go and read it i am not the best at news and i'm going to try to improve please let me know anywhere you want me to improve so um we are expecting the ai uh thoughts uh mind reading ai to actually be improved and also be released to the public so you could actually see how this works this is also pretty interesting and this is not a software this is supposed to be this is supposed to be a hardware so um next is actually um the ai robotics now a lot of things has been coming in and a lot of rumors has been roaming around about the ai robotics now introduction of um author rt 
Sarah RT and TRT trajectory to improve real world of robot data collection and speed and generation um, generalization. Now, picture a feature in which a simple request to the personal um, helper robot um, tidies the house cooks uh, cooks us a delicious healthy meal and it all takes uh, all it takes is to get the job done all it takes is actually a prompt to get the job done these tasks are straightforward for human um, requires a high level of understanding of the world of robot now what um, robots has been trained to properly um, do human chores and I actually watched a video of this. These are some of the highlights guys. This can actually make you noodles and um, prepare egg for you and these are very interesting. I watched some videos on YouTube. I'm going to share it on a different video where the robot was actually cooking and preparing a dinner very easy and the work actually looked quite unexpected for a robot to be doing and it's actually more careful so since a lot of information are already online it's actually quite easy for the robots to actually do all of these activities because they are already trained so there are different ais that can do this and yet it's not yet released but they are all going to be released very soon and it's actually going to be easy to model or um, instruct the ai to do all of those things Next is actually um, AI learning mobile manipulation with a low body um, telepreparation. Now, um, this particular tool is actually um, held on Stanford University. Now, the, there is a pre-video of this, which is here. Now, you can see how this actually operates. Preparing meal smoothly without any hassle. Now, 2023, 2024 rather, is going to be a year of um, robotic, uh, more, more than AI. A lot of AI are still going to be coming in and a lot of existing ones are still going to be showing off what they can do. But um, in SS, a lot of information or a lot of um, breakthrough tech that is going to be coming in 2024, I suspect is going to be robotic. Robotic is going to be coming in and is going to, quite, um, is going to take over over from ai not uh human because they are they actually have a long way to go now there are so many um there are so many footage of these autom autonomous um skills and the videos are all here uh you can always go and play it but with my poor internet i cannot play all of this so this you can see how the ai moves um after it's been touched and it just start doing its job a lot of this has already um been shipped out and you can see people um seeing ai deliver meal to them in some hotel i've watched a video uh where a hotel actually have ai deliver meal to them and other stuff so ai um, robotic can actually do a lot of tasks more than you expect so this is actually what you are going to be expecting a lot from from this year i'm going to um, separately upload this video on my social media so that you guys can actually watch and see what it can do guys samsung is actually um uh, samsung have actually announced that they are going to be releasing a smartphone that is going to be powered by ai and this is going to be released on january 17 they are very straightforward with um their achievement and their compliments so they actually announced this um a few days ago and uh, last week rather and they are going to be um, releasing this AI and it's going to be coming soon. And all you need to do is to register to be able to um, witness the announcement or the unveil of this particular AI tool. Now, they have not actually said all they can do or what they can do, but they actually want to um, beat their competitors in actually launching an AI smartphone. And this is also going to be groundbreaking. We do not know yet what to expect. They did not say it, but the way they actually promoted this it seems it's going to be a lot more interesting than we thought. But let don't, don't get your hope too high. But anyway, it's tech and we can expect anything. Now, the next one is actually um, uh, Microsoft. Microsoft have actually announced that they are going to be releasing the... Um, they are going to be adding the Microsoft Copilot on keyboards very soon so they are going to be integrating the microsoft copilot on keyboards now whenever you click on the microsoft copilot you are going to be able to actually see um all of 
Um, you are going to actually see the Microsoft um, Copilot assist you um, by the side. It's going to display by the side and it will actually allow you able to um, use the Microsoft uh, Copilot tool. All you need to do is to type in your prompt just like you do. But the only difference in this is that it's going to be including the, um, the button or the icon on your keyboard, which is actually going to make it easy. You can see on the screen how it up, uh, how it's going to perform and this is actually going to be quite interesting so um, it's, it's just going to make work easier and quicker for you now um, the next one guys is actually um, the Microsoft again or uh, rather let's say uh, open AI now the open AI have actually announced and they sent email to people saying that they are actually going to be Okay, um, sorry, this is a different news. On this particular news, Microsoft have actually approached um, some news company organization and have actually um, offered to get license due uh, to train their AI model so that they are going to avoid lawsuit in the future. Just like you seen a few, few days back where um, New York Times actually sued um, OpenAI for using their copyrighted news content. So they have actually announced and made this open and rather easier for um, news outlets to actually um, train their robotic or train their AI to open or to rather help people to read news or get information from. Now this, I don't know if a lot of people are going to be buying this, like a lot of news company might not be interested in this, but quite all right few people might be interested in it but let's just see how this is going to work out because if they actually accept this that means it's going to be reducing their own business or probably affecting their business but i am not certain of that but this probably um is actually a good chance for them to actually avoid copyright issues uh, in the future but um let's just see how it goes Next, guys, is actually um, Nivea. I think I actually missed a particular news and I did not copy it. Then um, that particular news actually said about Microsoft actually will be releasing the GPT very soon. Now, the GPT is actually going to um, be like a custom uh, or like a, 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 a studio, a GPT studio where um, people can actually create a custom GPT. And after creating a custom GPT, other people can go to the store and purchase the custom GPT. And according to the information, it actually says that people using the custom GPT can always send message to the developer or the creator or the rightful owner of the GPT for support. Probably maybe something didn't work well or it didn't work the way it's supposed to be. They can contact the person and ask the person some question. And since you are probably the person, you might be busy with something and you are going to be receiving some support email. If you are probably not interested in getting all of this email, um, you are not going to escape that. The, uh, Microsoft is not going to handle that for you. you. You have to be the one to handle it. The only thing Microsoft will do for you is that they are going to handle the payment. When people make payment um the, microsoft is going to give you your own part and they are, they are going to take their own cut this is also going to be very interesting but i think um it's going to pay a lot of people um, a lot of developer or a lot of people that are interested in ai creating ai and guys whatever this however this turn out to be we are actually going to see it pay off 2024 and we are going to see it kick off and see how it goes Okay, uh, this is actually a report from 2023 and it's actually a report saying that 2023 is, uh, 2024 is already upon us and these are actually what to expect um, in 2024. They are very high and they are, are quite interesting and you can see that AMD is actually all about. AMD actually um, have been doing a lot in the uh, AI industry but I think um, Intel is actually coming into place and I'm going to leave all of this link. My time is already running out of this video and guys there is so many things about ai and i cannot cover everything in this video so um i'm going to just leave that on a different video and i'm going to cover more news for you but um let me know how you think about this news if it's informative enough if if you actually learned anything from it and if um i have so many flaws please let me know i will see you on my next video stay safe peace